Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. Finally back with another video, and you can see it right in front here. Uh, this is the this is from the Premium Bandai Store. There's a playmat and storage box set that was put up, ooh, maybe beginning of July, around there. Um, so that's what's in here. But also, they added in a box of Pillars of Strength when you purchased it in the combo deal. So. We're going to open and show this up and then open cards because we are addicted. Anyway, let's get started. Again, uh, this is, I like the packaging, kind of similar to the, um, the premium 25th anniversary folder with the uh, special alt arts for the Straw Hat crew. But um, yeah, let me uh, get into this. Doesn't look overly complicated. Compl compl comp complicated. If anything, maybe I just skip. <laughs> I guess maybe like this. Yeah, I'm definitely skipping. I'm definitely skipping. Okay, folks, I struggled for like a minute and I got it open on one of the sides. So we're just going to pull this out and see what's in here. And there were five different characters, I think, that were up there. Um, and I picked Ace. Would have loved to get all of them, but that would probably be too much money. Too much money for the hobby, you know? But um, let's see here. Let's start with the box first. Um, oh, this is nice. Could have been China storage box made in Japan. Um, I like the little toy. Let's get a focus here. Really old focus. There we go. I just like the toy sticker. It's hard to see, but it says Toy Animation Certificate of License Grant. Just a, a license to use this, I guess. Oh, and instructions how to build the storage box. This is taped on here as well. Okay. Just a cool, and I probably will use this. I should probably just use my knife again because I'm struggling. I need these before I cut myself. You know what? There it is. I found the opening as I cut into it. Little figure. All right. And this is the second time I bought something from Premium Bandai, but it seems like the packaging is very well done. That's Ace. All the flaps. Can I fold this in record time? It's something like this, probably. It's probably like this. And then we fold these over. Yep, yep. And then there's a little opening for the tabs. This feels familiar. 
I bought some of those. Gosh, what's the brand? Like BCW shoe boxes to store cards in. Those have been great. And then these, right? Insert the star part into the gap between the left and right sides. It's it's a it's a very tight fit. So there we go. And there's Ace. It does look good. It does look very good. I think this is like 200, 300 cards. Maybe less if they're sleeved. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice little box to use. Yeah, that's cool. Let's get this out of the way. Let's show the mat. Honestly, I might use this for card openings from here on out. So I'm probably not gonna be able to fit all of this on camera, but here is the animated side ace and then with Luffy up at the top. It does look good. And then on the other side it is the one piece card game logo in all black. But yeah, really cool. Um, I'm honestly going to use this for the, for all my videos going forward, I think. It, it'll just be nice to have a mat. And though I do love my desk as a background, this would be more appropriate for the cards that I open. But, that's all said and done. We have to take care of this. We got a box of cards to take care of. So let's get into it. Again, I'm gonna get these spare boxes. Odds kind of go out the window. We will get a good idea of what type of box it is once we get a hit or something. Other than that, it is just exciting to be opening more little One Piece cards. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. At this point of recording, we are just a couple weeks away from Kingdom Kingdoms of Intrigue, I think. Uh, the fourth set. Looking forward to that. And there is an absurd amount of hype for OPO5. I'm sure you guys have all seen some of the insane pulls and cards available in that set. And I'm looking forward to that at the end of the year. But let's get started with this. Oh, this is fun. I haven't opened these cards in a bit. There's our 16 pistol and Bellman. The cards that I haven't pulled yet, of course, four leader cards, including Arlong. Um, who else? Lucci, Big Mom, just to name a few. Um, I got really lucky on character alternates. I think I'm just missing Marco that I really want. And the only other one I didn't pull from my case was, okay, uh, this is <laughs> first hit of the box. It's a useless Captain Kid wanted card. And this is the second one we pulled. That's funny. Uh, yeah, a nice first hit. So it wasn't, I guess uh, from experience, the boxes I had in my case that had the wanted cards in them, um, I got an alternate art leader. I don't know if there's any other possibilities, maybe being a three hit box or whatnot, but there's our Jin and Jack Atlet.
There's our Kokoro and Django. One advantage that I do like about the mat is my cards used to slide when I drop them down on my desk. And on the mat, they don't. Whoa, there's our, okay. Uh, that was really fast, but uh, rare Buzzcut Mochi and alternate art Rob Lucci. I did not get this card in my case, so I'm happy to be picking it up here. This is probably one of the only other, maybe besides Big Mom, one of the only other alternate art leader cards I really wanted from the set. But yeah, uh, awesome hit. I don't think we get anything else. Um, geez, I, I haven't even seen super rares yet, or the alternate are gone. I guess we get we get those, but and I don't know if there's a chance for a third alternate art hit, but we'll just finish out this box. It's open anyway. There's our Kaya and Nami. I mean, I could think about putting these. Um, up for sale, but they're essentially dead packs, meaning um, there's no chance that there would be hitting them. So I, it just it feels kind of scummy to sell them, you know. Uh, where's our fire fist and Izo? But again, we won't have to wait long for um, more packs to open. OPO four is on the horizon. A lot of cards in that set that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, have you guys seen OPL5? There's our Gas Bomb MH5 and Kokoro. OPL5 is looking to be a monster set, from what I could tell. And that makes me excited. It makes me excited. The anniversary card, the three manga rares. The special cards in that set look great. Where's our Struisen and Super Rare Big Mom? That was our first Super Rare of the set, by the way. Kind of stunned at that. Where's our Charlotte Pudding and Krieg? There's our gas bomb MH5 and Rob Lucci. By the way, have you guys seen the One Piece live action show? I binged through it. Last week, and you know, I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. So let me know what you guys guys' thoughts are on that. There's our 16 pistol and Zeph. Oh, there's our alternate art, Dawn. Sanjay at the uh, Baratier. Put him to the side. And finish out the pack. There's our Teach and Sanji. Bomb buggy. There's our Sanji and Charlotte Cracker Super Rare. More than halfway at this point. At this point, we're just pulling Super Rares here. Let's see what we get. Again, I don't think we're owed anything else, but if I do get something else, I will be shocked. Again, all of my, the two boxes in my case that had the wanted posters just had the alternate art leaders, and that's that was it. Unless that was just bad luck or something on my part. There's our 3000 Worlds and Super Rare Poly.
There's a Bluno and Fire Fist. Eight packs left. So I'm not sure. Still could be a chance for one more. Alternate art, maybe, if we're lucky. We'll see. I don't recall anyone getting three hits in a wanted poster box. From what I've seen. There's Spandam and Nami for our rares. Rares are Belmare and Khalifa. There's our Flame Emperor and Luffy. Still owed a couple super rares here, so these packs should be pretty decent as we get to the bottom here. There we go. There's our Mochi and Usopp super rare. There's our Khalifa and Super Rare Kaku. Three packs left. There's our Luffy and Nami. Where's our Charlotte Pudding and Zeph in the last pack of the box? Will any magic happen here? We will see. Whoa. Forget if I'm owed another super rare, but we will see. Where's our Izo and Pero Sparrow? Super rare. All right, guys, and thanks again for watching. Here's a quick recap of what we pulled. Um, starting with the Dawn card, of course, we know what that looks like. And then the Super Rares, in order we pulled them. And then our two hits for the box, we got the Wanted Captain Kid poster card. And Alternate Art Leader Rob Lucci. So yeah, thanks again for watching today, guys. Uh, like showing off the... The new mat here that I'll probably be using and you'll be seeing more often as I open more One Piece cards and came with this box as well, which I'll just put this side here, kind of somewhere like right here. Lots of ace going on here. If only I pulled a ace alternate art leader, then it would have been real cool. But uh, anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a good morning, afternoon, evening.